All right, happy sunshine, guys. Uh, we're here at the Federal Bureau of Prisons inmate locator page. I've uh, pasted in Heather's inmate number there. We can search for her. And it's showing her at uh, the Oklahoma City uh, Federal Transfer Facility, just like it did the other day. Um, on the IUV website, uh, BZ got an email today from Heather, urgent, departed today. The gift got, quote unquote, shipped to Randy this AM. See all in Tennessee. Love me. So, Heather's under the impression that she is leaving Oklahoma bound for Tennessee. And then over here at the Mike O'Brien uh, YouTube channel, uh, this was just, just posted today, what, not too long ago. I don't know if it shows what time this... Uh, I don't know how you figure out what time during the day an actual video was posted. I'm not sure how to do that. But I'm just going to play it and you can hear it in, in Mike's own words. Hey guys, so um, I got another update for Heather, okay? She's actually, uh, everybody was speculating she was on her way straight to Tennessee. Huh. Seems like she's going on tour here. Um, she actually, when they left Oklahoma, she's now in Georgia, um, and it appears to be an ICE facility, uh, immigration uh, and customs enforcement, which uh, I can speculate as to why that is, but I'm not going to speculate. Because speculation is not fact. So, um, I wanted to at least give you guys that update. Heather is now in the facility, Georgia. Um, uh, no, she's going all around. So, um, as soon as we have more updates, I'll put this out to you. Uh, make sure to thank Tehran, as Tehran is the one who uh, uh, posted this update. This is literally breaking that just uh, was the Okay, uh, you can go to his channel if you want to watch the rest of the video. Uh, he mentions Tehran as the source of the info, and that would be this Tehran Cognito. Uh, he's got a post today. This is a statement from Randy. It has to do with some minutia around the term sovereign citizen and uh, and the TDA, TDA accounts and all the UCC paperwork. I don't see anything uh, on here about Heather being on her way to Georgia. Uh, Heather thinks she's going to Tennessee. Uh, Mike O'Brien's reporting that, uh, that she's at an immigration, I think he said customs enforcement facility. Uh, in Georgia, uh, that's, uh, if that's true, uh, that's mind-boggling. Um, right now, the Federal Bureau of Prisons is still reporting Heather in Oklahoma City. So, wow. You know, she was arrested in Washington, D.C., after the identity hearing, they moved her to Virginia. Then they moved her to Oklahoma. And if Mike O'Brien's right, now they moved her to Georgia. This, this doesn't make any sense. Like you go, you go right from where you were arrested to the jurisdiction where, where the court case is waiting for you. What is, what is all this ping-ponging all over the, the country doing? You know, I'm not sure how, how this is, is all applicable as, as far as finding separate additional charges to put onto the government, but I would think that uh, 
based on a bogus warrant, she's already been arrested, incarcerated. She's been moved from D.C. to Virginia, so that's kidnapping. She moved from Virginia to Oklahoma, that's kidnapping. And, and now, on her way to Georgia? Uh, another another charge of kidnapping on the government I mean that's what it is there's no other way to look at it you got a fake warrant here and now the government's bouncing her all over the country <laughs> gosh what's what's going on hey if If you have any experience in the FBI and you feel like sending me an email to lunacy at protonmail.com, that's L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E at protonmail.com, and you've got anything to say that might clear up why, why Heather's bouncing around all over the country. I mean, it, this says right here, without unnecessary delay yes she went in front of judge deborah who didn't even bother to look look at the warrant or notice that different things were crossed out by hand and filled in by hand like you know anytime when i was working and anybody handed me paperwork that uh, came from another cop, especially another agency, the first place I'd go on that paperwork was to find out, hey, who's that officer? Do I know this guy? Is he a guy maybe that I hang out with? Like, is this a, is this a, good, a good reason to call and catch up with him? Like, like that Deborah Robinson didn't look on here. She know this is U.S. District Court. The warrant came out of her court, just a different district, right? It's on the revision, January of 2009. It's a boilerplate form. She's gonna recognize this. Oh, this came from within my courts. I wonder which one of my colleagues signed it. And then, and then she's gonna see this. And that's just based on human curiosity. That's based on me knowing myself and knowing what I would look for. But as part of her due diligence in an identity hearing to make sure that the proper person was arrested that is listed on this warrant and she's not even going to verify that this warrant has all the elements it needs to be a valid warrant, I, I just cannot think of any way that this happens without some kind of of darkness or criminal activity happening on the side of the government. I don't know if Deborah's caught up in and being forced to turn a blind eye and behave the way that she's behaving here. I don't know what explains anybody's behavior. but a fraudulent warrant and why are we going to Virginia, Oklahoma? I mean, maybe I can understand the Virginia just because of its proximity to DC, but going to Oklahoma and, and this is unverified. I'm not saying that, that she is in Georgia and that Mike Brown's right or wrong. I don't know, but, but, this is going to be some other good observations coming in about, hey, where's the reliable information coming in? Because when I, in the future, when I go and I hit this search button, eventually this is going to change here. It's either going to put her in Tennessee or it's going to put her <laughs> somewhere else. Now the trial that she's got to, got to go to, that's in Tennessee. And they're wasting an awful lot of gas flying her like a ping pong ball 
across the ping pong table of the US. Oh. I guess we'll just leave it at that for now. That's a good place to wrap things up. Uh, more videos coming soon. All my love. If you want to send me love or information or links, uh, lunacy at protonmail.com. And, and again, if, uh, if you have experience working for the FBI and you can explain any of these observations that I'm bringing forth in this whole Heather Ann Tucci Hat J series of videos, please send me an email. Uh, you don't have to identify who you are, but give me enough give me enough so that I know that you're you're definitely an FBI agent. I, we don't need to tell everybody else if you need to be confidential, that's fine. Um, but wow, if you're from the Secret Service, if you're from the court systems, if you've got any experience like I do that pertains to this and can explain this uh, in a different way or see this in a different way, if you can work from solid observations as your foundation like I'm doing, then I'd love to hear from you. Oh, wow. What, what a can of worms this is. All right, everybody keep shining your light. I'll be back soon. Love you. Bye-bye.